Okay, so I got a dump truck load of organic compost, about eight tons worth. And what I'm gonna do is build some raised beds and uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So if you noticed, I'm using concrete blocks and I'm leaving one side open. I put it on my cardboard. And the reason why I left one side open is because I don't want it to sit there and shovel dirt into this little uh, dump truck thing of mine. Just lift it up, dump it in. These Gorilla carts are great. I love them. You just pull it. Makes it a lot easier than trying to uh, put it in there and then try to do it again. I'll go get another load and start over. Okay, so you want to get to this part. Make sure you have a nice pile of dirt up there. Then you can go and use your ends up. Now, one thing I'm going to do with this setup is that I'm going to plant some, put some dirt in the holes here instead of covering them like most people do. And we'll plant some marigolds along this edge here to help keep away pests. Okay, so I filled up this uh, edge piece right here. And I realized I didn't have any marigolds. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, blend the other. That's what I'm going to put in there because Tholia is a very good plant for deterring pests attracted pollinators. You know, attract ladybugs and pollinators and uh, repels aphids and other annoying insects like that that do destructive damages to your crop. So I'm just going to plant a few in here. Should be fine. Put some in the corner. I'll put some in the center. Put some on the other end. And that way, people look at this from the road if they look at it at all they're gonna see nothing but flowers. So, this is about a two and a half foot by uh, eight and a half foot raised bed. And the good thing about this, if I decide later that I need it up another height and I wanna add more compost, I can just add another layer of bricks and another layer of bricks and another layer of concrete blocks, blocks, basically. And in the winter time, build it up to like three or four high and make it for worms. So that's a good thing to have is a place for worms to grow during the winter time. If I have it three or four or five stacked high with full of dirt, worms are going to be able to live in the center of this during the winter time. 